Hey YouTube, how you doing? This is Real Talk, and I'm coming to you with a new episode. And in this episode, we are going to discuss uh, the Hollywood Wishes slash transgender agenda. Uh, the one that's pretty much being forced upon us by uh, them. And we all know who them are. They. <laughs> so let's get started. Here we go with this... Uh, Pretty evil witch. She's a straight up witch. And she was on God's team. And in that one uh, interview. She looked regular. And that's when they had first indoctrinated her. Or they first inducted her into their thing there. And she was speaking of how Sasha Fierce is. Can sing strong. And sing high notes. And blah blah blah. And she, that was the first time that she felt it come into her. She basically meets. Well she was telling us that she was getting possessed. And here she is, you know, being down with being possessed and who she serves for obvious reasons with throwing up the, the double sixes, some event somewhere. Angela, Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie is, has no life in her left. She has no humanity in her anymore. Yeah, they have the fake, uh, we're adopting all these different children move and to make it look like they're good dudes, but no, she's not a good person at all. She looks like a witch walking around like a zombie. She doesn't even look good anymore. And here she is throwing up the bathroom at somebody. And it, notice that how even if they kick on all the makeup and stuff, it still doesn't take away the dead look. Because they look like they're dead. You know, because there's no God force in them. You can tell someone that has a God force in them because they look regular. These people, they don't look right. There's something wrong with with, 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 the, with their look, but it's becoming the norm now. Because everything's being saturated with that goth look or whatever it is. The death look. The walking dead look. The zombie look or something. Here's another one. She's got the evil eye thing going, and the smirk. See, the smirk is supposed to throw us off, and we're not supposed to notice that she has a demonic look in her eye. Looks pretty evil to me. This other YouTuber had made mention of this, and I always wondered about it. I think it's Mr. E3000. I think that's the name of the channel. But he breaks down where, basically, he was saying... That most, 90% or maybe even 100% of all the stars in Hollywood are plugged into the transgender movement and they're trannies. And he's saying that she's a tranny. Now, <clears throat> I, I got to be honest with you, I always wondered about her because she had a weird, like a weird body. Like it wasn't, something was wrong, but I could never put my finger on it. I think that dude hit the nail on the head. And I actually think that this chick right here, or this dude or whatever it is, just because he got so long hair doesn't mean it's a woman. It's just a tranny, you know. And here it is, throwing up the baphomet and, you know, giving homage to its master. Uh, this tranny right here or whatever. Now, he also said that Mariah Carey was a tranny. However, I'm going to beg to differ on that one because on that first, on the left side, she's had, she got those hips and those look like female hips to me. Now he's saying that, that, that's, that she's a tranny, blah, blah, blah. Could be. And I'm going to, I'm not going to disprove that dude because he, he, he obviously did some research and some of the stuff is pretty convincing. I, and when I watched his videos, I was like, wow. I, I never knew because he was putting two and two together like really well. So I suggest you guys go watch that guy. Um, I put it in the description. I put the link in one of the videos in the description, and then and then he got a slew of them, so you could just jump onto the next ones if you if that interests you. But uh, yeah, I don't think that she is a tranny. She's had some some work done, but tranny, no, I don't think so. I I just think that she's a talented woman that got sucked in and she has to pay homage like she's doing right here 
you know, she wanted to cash, she wanted to be diva, whatever, blah, 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 and now she's paying homage, just like they all do. And here we got Charlize Theron. Now, she's completely sucked out. She doesn't look all nice and wholesome like she did in that one movie, uh, That Thing You Do. She looked pretty, she looked okay there, but I think they broke her in when she did The Devil's Advocate, so that role right there was significant because they were actually inducting her into all that satanic crap since it was a satanic movie. But here she looks like a straight witch, sucked out. She don't even look, it don't even look real, it looks all photoshopped, but regardless, she doesn't have God's life force in her from what I can see. You guys might see something different, but, you know, hey. You know, it's in the eye of the beholder. And here she is. With that same satanic witch look. So the other one was just a regular photo shoot look. And then here she is in, in costume with the witch look. Because she's an evil whatever in this picture. It's a Disney picture. And they look the same. She still looks like a witch. <laughs> so, she, so she never got out of the witch mode. <laughs> or something. But anyway. Jessica Alba. Now, now here she looks real serious. The dude was saying that she's a tranny because she said that on one of the interviews, I think in the, in, uh, con, con, com or con, you know, one of the comics, uh, events, she said, oh, I'm a man. So now they're saying, well, okay, well, she's telling the truth, but was she? I don't know. She looks pretty feminine to me, you know. However, he did have some, uh, uh, photos of her hips and, the jaw, I don't know, the jaw, he says it look, it's a square jaw, Adam's apple, all that stuff, so I don't know, could be, regardless, here she is throwing up, covering one eye, which pretty much tells us that she's down with what's going on over there in Hollywood, she has to be, otherwise she wouldn't be in there making major motion pictures and running a, a $2 billion company, so, you know, she's there to make you lust after her. And if, in fact, she's a tranny, then that's really bad. Fergie. Now, this picture right here looks completely photoshopped. It don't even look real. So they they brushed this one all over the place. Because no one looks that nice. It just looks like a Photoshop picture. And here's the real one looking ugly. Like, she, <laughs> like for real, throwing up the 666 sign. And we know how she's getting down see, with her fergalicious, with all that gold and all those chains. and can't stand that. I hate when women do that. But anyway, Kardashian. <clears throat> well, we all kind of know that this is the head witch. I mean, she's a straight up witch with all her sister witches, all the Kardashians. You know, we know how stank all of them are. I mean, they look kind of pretty, but they got that witchly prettiness. They're just pretty witches, which is no good to us, because it's, why would you want to do that? Well, a lot of men do because of the body and the booty and the big titties and all that stuff, so. And here we see her in her, her true state, not all, you know, airbrushed, covering up one eye at some party somewhere. And we know how she's getting down there, so. Here's this vato right here. <laughs> now, this is a straight vato. <laughs> now, that dude was saying that, that when they were little kids, that they're raised. They're like, if it's a little boy, it's raised as a girl. They put dresses on them and lipstick, and they raise them as girls. But this one right here was a straight vato from the gate. Even when it came out in... The Partridge family, and they socked Danny in the eyeball or whatever. <laughs> he socked him in the eye and ointment for his mouth or whatever it was. It just looked like a dude. Even back then, it was a tomboy then, and it's a dude looking, look like a dude now. You know, with all the square thing, and I don't see the Adam's apple, but dude, this, this looks like a dude. Doesn't look like a woman at all. It ain't convincing me. And here it is, throwing up the 666 at some event somewhere. Okay. And here's Barry, what's his name? 
along with Anton LaVey, the head of the Church of Satan, where he was, because he croaked over now, so he, he, he's gone. He, he's burning up right about now. Heaven forbid. I mean, I hate to judge him, but, well, he wasn't on Jesus' team, so he denied God the whole time and was against God. So, based on God's word, I think he's burning up right about now. But anyway, that remains to be seen. Him and Barry are throwing up the, the, the baphomet, so we see where Barry's at, how he gets down. You know, it's not connected. It's all conspiracy theories and it's fake. But I don't know. That looks pretty real to me. Looks like it's the same thing to me. Here we have the back of the dollar bill, the eyeball on top of the Egyptian pyramid, which is not, you know, what is our, what is Egypt doing on, on the money, which means that Anything tied with Egypt is satanic, so the money is satanic, just like the Bible says. Money is the root of all kinds of evil. And as we see throughout our society, how everybody's killing and doing all kinds of evil, evil acts just to get it in, just to get this so-called money, which is basically an IOU, which has no in intrinsic value to it. And it goes on and on and on. But here we go. Annuit Coeptis Nubos Oros Chlorum, New World Order. Now, based on that dude's uh, video, and he made a lot of sense, and I, I hadn't really thought about this, but he says that when they're little kids, the little boys are dressed like little girls, and the little girls are dressed like little boys, and we're seeing that in Willow and what's-his-face, uh, the Smith. Willow and what's the other, you know, uh, we see that, that, that they change the genders of the Will Smith's son and daughter. Where the girl is dressing like a little boy and the boy is dressing like a girl wearing dresses and stuff. And then they give them all these options by the time they get to school. Girl, boy, tomboy, female, male, young woman, young man, trans girl, trans boy, gender fluid. You get to pick any, anyone at, at any given day. You want to be a boy that day, you can be a boy. If you want to be a girl that day, you can be a girl. <laughs> Agender, androgynous, prince. Bigender, non-binary, demi-boy, demi-girl, queer gender, gender non-conforming, tri-gender, all genders in the middle of boy and girl, intersex. Not sure whether or not saying other. So they're they're indoctrinating our youth with all this garbage. Instead of just instead of it just being girl and boy based on, on your your physical parts. If you have a if you're swinging like a donkey then you're a boy. If you're not swinging, then you're a girl. <laughs> like God designed it. No, oh, heaven forbid. You can't do that. We got to do all this other crap. All this fake junk. Because we got to overrule Jesus God and the Holy Spirit. Because, you know, that thing is trying to be number one, which it's not. It's never going to be number one. But this is the corruption. And this is the new world order in our face. Because now it's it's out there. And this dude right here all made it happen. He was a big part of it, pushing that agenda in the 80s. And we saw how, you know, he was confusing. He was blurring the lines between man and woman. Because he's obviously a man, we can see. But he had that female look to him. So he was a big part, a big help to them back in the day. But then he got... Then he got started getting out of line, and then when he had that slave written on his face, when they when they wanted to jack him, that's that's when that was his death sentence right there. That's when they they were looking to bump him off, and we all saw the outcome of that. But he was a big part of that whole androgynous crap that we see now that's going on t today. Thanks, Prince, for helping out these scumbags. It's because they want to honor this thing right here. That's what that, when they throw up that hand sign, that's what, this is what they're throwing up, the baphomet. It's basically an androgynous female, a male, whatever, God. This is their God. <clears throat> and it's trying to uh, get everybody all hooked up into worshiping this thing. Because when you worship the star, and if they're transgenders, and they're kind of hidden because if 
as far as everybody's concerned, Jennifer Aniston is a woman. But now that I think about it, I don't think it is. I think it's a bato. I think it's a man. So, so by you worshiping that, you're worshiping this in a roundabout way, around, around the bushes. <laughs> but now they're getting bold with it. That's what that's what all the devil, the goat means. That's what the goat is about. That's what the horns are about. It's a, it's a, it's a man and a woman put together. And here we got Mr. Barry Vato again with him in his him in his all gender restroom wherever this is at. So they're really pushing anybody can use this rest, restroom regardless of gender identity or expression. So that means you're going to take your little baby girl in there and some dude swinging like a donkey is going to be in there. And that's all good. I'm sorry, bro, but that's not good. That's not cool at all. Women need women bathroom. Man need man bathroom. And if you're going to have a, 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 a 30 filthy trans bathroom, men make their own damn bathroom. You don't need to be mixing everything. But this is what they're up to. And... The New World Order is in our face. It's already here. They keep, they keep saying it's coming, it's coming. No, it ain't coming. It's here already. It's in your face. Now you better, you better, you better go a set of balls because you're gonna need them. <clears throat> normally, in my videos, I normally don't have threats, and I don't really like to make threats. I was threatened. On my semi truther video, homeboy came ba back and tried to give me a contract, and I kind of denied his contract. He tried to say this, that, and the other. You're gonna do this, that, and the other. I'm like, I'm not gonna do nothing, son. I'm a man under Genesis 126 with a, with dominion over the planet, over the earth, and you ain't gonna strip me of my dominion as a man. Now they're looking to blur the lines between man, woman, and transgender. This and uh, no, it's not, son. I'm a man under God's authority, and I'm keeping that authority, and not, neither you nor anybody else is going to tell me different. So I denied his contract and told him to buzz off that under Genesis 126, I have authority to speak the truth, supported by California Constitution 1849, Article 1, Section 9, gives me freedom of speech and freedom of, of press which is what this, these videos are made of. Now, I was supposed to open up the video with this disclaimer, but I'm going to put it in the back. The governing law of this video is the Holy Scriptures known as the Holy Bible, King James Version, specifically the Ten Commandments. It is these Ten Commandments that overrule any governing laws or codes or any man-made law. All laws stem from the Bible, and this is the governing law of this video. Anything that is not congruent with the Bible is unenforceable. Now, with that disclaimer, that gives me protection, not only verbally on this video, but spiritually in the spiritual realms. When I let it be known that I'm letting people have negative comments on my videos, I can disable the comments or and I can manipulate the comments any way I need to or want to, but God doesn't do it, so therefore I won't do it. I'm going to let people exercise their 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 right to free speech and 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 not manipulate that right anyway this is going to do it for, for this video i hope uh it brings to light some things that may have escaped you all i'm saying is this the New World Order stuff is ready here, and you better grow a set of balls because they're gonna for they're gonna force every all this transgender stuff down your throat unless you you put a stop to it. You better start believing in that Bible because that's our protection. Now if I got it with me, and my angels are here with me, and God is protecting me just like He has promised in the Bible, the King James Version. You do as you see fit, because I'm not here to uh, coerce you or or to to trick you into believing what I believe. We all have rights to believe as we see fit. However, if you want to be into that whole new world order stuff, then keep it pushing. You can stay where you're at. I'm cool. I believe in Jesus. I love Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and Almighty God himself, and that's where I'm at. 
Anyway, this is going to do it for, for this video. I'm going to catch up with you guys next time. She's a tranny, blah, blah, blah. Could be. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna disprove that dude because he 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 obviously did some research and some of the stuff is pretty convincing. I, and when I watched his videos, I was like, wow, I, I never knew because he was putting two and two together like really well. So I suggest you guys go watch that guy. Um, I put it in the description. I put the link in one of the videos in the description, and then and then he got a slew of them, so you could just jump on to the next ones if you if that interests you. But, uh, yeah, I don't think that she is a tranny. She's had some, some work done. But tranny, no, I don't think so. I, I just think that she's a talented woman that got sucked in. And she has to pay homage like she's doing right here. You know, she wanted to cash. She wanted to be diva, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And now she's paying homage. Just like they all do. And here we got Charlize Theron. Now, she's completely sucked out. She doesn't look all nice and wholesome like she did in that one movie, uh, That Thing You Do. She looked pretty, she looked okay there, but I think they broke her in when she did The Devil's Advocate. So, that role right there was significant because they were actually inducting her into all that satanic crap since it was a season. I think that's the name of the channel. But he breaks down where, basically, he was saying... That most, 90% or maybe even 100% of all the stars in Hollywood are plugged into the transgender movement and they're trannies. And he's saying that she's a tranny. Now, <clears throat> I gotta be honest with you, I always wondered about her because she had a weird, like a weird body. Like it wasn't, something was wrong, but I could never put my finger on it. I think that dude hit the nail on the head. And I actually think that this chick right here, or this dude or whatever it is, just because he got so long hair doesn't mean it's a woman. It's just a tranny, you know. And here it is, throwing up the baphomet and, you know, giving homage to its master. Uh, this tranny right here or whatever. Now, he also said that Mariah Carey was a tranny. However, I'm going to beg to differ on that one because on that first, on the left side, she's had, she got those hips and those look like female hips to me. Now he's saying that, 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 hey YouTube, how you doing? This is Real Talk and I'm coming to you with a new episode. And in this episode, we are going to discuss uh, the Hollywood wishes slash transgender agenda. Uh, the one that's pretty much being forced upon us by uh, them. And we all know who them are. They. <laughs> so let's get started. Here we go with this uh, pretty evil witch. She's a straight up witch. And she was on God's team. And in that one uh, interview, she looked regular. And that's when they had first indoctrinated her. Or they first inducted her into their thing there and she was speaking of how Sasha Fierce is can sing strong and sing high notes and blah 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 and she that was the first time that she felt it come into her she basically meets well she was telling us that she was getting possessed and here she is you know being down with being possessed and who she serves for obvious reasons with throwing up the, the double sixes some event somewhere Angela, Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie is has no life in her left. She has no humanity in her anymore. Yeah, they have the fake. Uh, we're adopting all these different children. Move and to make it look like they're good dudes, but no, she's not a good person at all. She looks like a witch walking around like a zombie. She doesn't even look good anymore. And here she is throwing up the bathroom at somebody. And it, notice that how even if they kick on all the makeup and stuff, it still doesn't take away the dead look. Because they look like they're dead. You know, because there's no God force in them. You can tell someone that has 
a God force in them because they look regular. These people, they don't look right. There's something wrong with 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 the with their look, but it's becoming the norm now because everything's being saturated with that goth look or whatever it is, the death look, the Walking Dead look, the zombie look or something. Here's another one. She's got the evil eye thing going and the smirk. See, the smirk is supposed to throw us off and we're not supposed to notice that she has a demonic look in her eye. Looks pretty evil to me. This other YouTuber had made mention of this and I always wondered about it. I think it's Mr. E3000 Titanic movie. But here she looks like a straight witch, sucked out. She don't even look, it don't even look real, it looks all Photoshop, but regardless, she doesn't have God's life force in her from what I can see. You guys might see something different, but you know, hey, you know, it's in the eye of the beholder. And here she is with that same satanic witch look. So the other one was just a regular photo shoot look. And then here she is in, in costume with the witch look. Because she's an evil whatever in this picture. It's a Disney picture. And they look the same. She still looks like a witch. <laughs> so, she, so she never got out of the witch mode or something. Or something. But anyway. Jessica Alba. Now, now here she looks real serious. A dude was saying that she's a tranny because she said that on one of the interviews, I think in the, in, uh, con, con, com or con, you know, one of the comics, uh, events, she said, oh, I'm a man. So now they're saying, well, okay, well, she's telling the truth, but was she? I don't know. She looks pretty feminine to me, you know. However, he did have some, uh, uh, photos of her hips and, the jaw, I don't 